Hello guys and welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a full face of clearance makeup. I feel like this is a challenge because I didn't go to like a bunch of stores and find makeup on sale. I only went to one store and I feel like that's what makes this video a challenge. So I was at Target and I was in the makeup section. <laughs> Shocking, I know. Me and my husband saw a bunch of makeup on clearance. My husband's like, you should do a video with all clearance makeup. And I was like, don't, <laughs> don't get out of here. So we thought it'd be a cute idea to basically make it a challenge to do a full face of makeup with only clearance makeup from one store and that store is Target. The store where you go to and find all the things that you don't need but you buy it anyway. Here's the basket of makeup I found. Like the foundation's definitely not my shade. The only blush they had was a broken one, so I had to get it in order to do the full face. <sighs> it's gonna be a fun video. I'm gonna take this makeup off and then we are going to film the video. <laughs> Subscribe to my channel before you leave. Subscribe. And now we're gonna jump right into the video. So we're gonna jump in and start with our face makeup and I don't think I was able to find a skin primer and that's okay, we'll just skip it. I typically do a skin primer but I don't think like you have to have to. So the foundation I got on clearance at Target was for $3.88. It's the Sonia Kashuk Soft Focus Stay Matte Foundation. They had like a million of the shade number six in there and it looks kind of it looks really dark. <laughs> I also picked up some of the number seven, which I've never really used this makeup brand, but this is their Radiant Glow Under Eye Concealer. And then this is for $6.98. It was $13.99 and this was $12.99. So girl, I got a deal, but I think I'm gonna have to mix these together or else I'm gonna be looking crazy. Honestly, this video may have been done by someone before. I don't know. I haven't seen it on the internet. I'm actually gonna go scour and see if I see where someone have, has done it. Um, but I don't know. Just thought it was a cute idea. Ooh, gotta be strong for this. <sighs> Why is that packaging so cute? Okay, I see you, Sonia. I see you, girl. <laughs> this shade is an absolute no for me. So I am gonna mix in. I'm just putting this right on top of my Tantastic Bronzer. Don't mind me. We're gonna pump out some of this. Oh, gross. Come on. This is also, what shade is this? It's been clicked and used already. Wow, this video is just turning into a hot mess. And then the shade of the concealer is actually darker than the foundation. <laughs> so this can actually be used for a contour. I'm gonna have to mix a little bit of a lighter cream product in. I'm just gonna add a little bit of concealer in with it and see what we can make happen. I'm actually gonna use a Y10 brush today instead of my Y6 because I need to mix this with a small brush instead of my Y6. Okay, oh my gosh, okay, here we go. I just put a tiny bit of some concealer in the foundation and actually it's not that dark. It doesn't really look that bad. I'm like impressed over here. <laughs> and I just love the fact in this video that I am 100% portraying my glorious Y6 brush. This is my favorite foundation brush for those of you who don't know. I love that brush, but I'm portraying it because I had to mix these foundations together on that track. I'm gonna use this Y10 girl. It's still the Gilded Collection in memory. The face foundation is done. This NYX lid primer base. So here's what's gonna happen because my concealer, as we saw, was too dark. So it's gonna be now our contour shade. We're gonna make shift and make it work. I found a lid primer from NYX for $3.48 that was originally $6.99. And it is the color of a concealer. I think we all know what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna use a eyeshadow primer just to conceal some of my dark circles. <laughs> Why do I feel my bones that this is a bad idea? It does have like... Okay, it's not doing anything. Put on my eyelid. Feels like a nice eyelid primer. 
I feel like I may have used this at some point in the past, um, but so far I do like it. I thought because it was cream color, like it might help me conceal my face, but that's not really the case. So while we're at it, I'll go ahead and take my number seven concealer. I'll just contour. I'm gonna go back in with this handy dandy Y10 brush and start to blend it out. Let's see what happens. Actually, it's blending out really nicely. It doesn't seem to have that much pigment to it. So it's just putting on a really soft, faint contour, which I don't mind. I think it actually looks pretty good. Like overall, this is not my makeup routine, obviously. With the challenge videos, I think sometimes you can just make it work and overall it looks good. I'm gonna tell you guys how many times I've traveled or gone somewhere and I literally forgot half my stuff. I don't know how I do it, but I like impromptu makeup and just sometimes you just gotta make it work. I don't have a powder bronzer because they didn't have one. So next I have this busted blush <laughs> that's in the top of the gap. $4.07, it's by L'Oreal. It was $13.39. I'm gonna take my Y4 angled brush and just dab it in the top of the lid. Ooh, it's getting product off, so, you know. It's really pretty blush too. Um, it's got like more shimmer to it than anything. It's not that pigmented, but it's pretty. I don't recommend buying broken uh, makeup ever. I just did it for the challenge. Just know that. Side note. <laughs> I feel like the cashier lady is like, does this girl know she's buying broken makeup? Should I tell her? No. For highlighter, um, I found this NYX highlighter. It was originally $7.99 and I got it for $3.98. And this is like the prismatic twilight tint highlighter. So today I'm gonna use the R36, my highlight brush. And if you're wondering why I haven't set my makeup with any powders, because I didn't have any powder, okay? <laughs> so let's see about this highlight. I'm just gonna... Ooh, it's pretty! I feel like I look like a little alien with my little blue highlight, and I love it. Extraterrestrial? Is that what they call it? Is that is that like outer space? Extraterrestrial? Terrestrial. That word just don't sound right, but half the words I say just ain't right. For eyebrows, I did not, I totally got this little crusty NYX product. It's very sad. This is the Brow Cake Powder. This is what it looks like. I got it for like $2.90 some cents. It was originally $5.99. It appears that it has seen better days. This is this little spoolie brush. The thing with brow powders is like, I don't not like brow powder. So let's go ahead and get that out there. I do like them, but I feel like brow powders sometimes work best sometimes work best whenever you have eyebrow hairs and you're just trying to kind of fill in the emptiness areas with your already thick eyebrows or just trying to make them a little bolder but for me whenever i don't i have a lot to like actually fill in i feel like it's really difficult working with powders because a pencil can give you more hair like real life like strokes so it's just easier to actually fill in and I feel like powders are a little bit more difficult to build up versus a pencil. So if you guys see me use pencils all the time, that is why versus a powder. But I do like both. Overall, I can make this work. It's just gonna be a lot more time consuming. The brows are on. So next up is eyeshadow. So for eyeshadow, I found this Sonia Cashew uh, eyeshadow palette. It says Florasian number 12. I got for seven, I ripped it $7.14 and it was originally $14.29 uh, or something like that. So I got it on sale, honey. First I'm gonna go in with this peachy little shade right here. And we're just gonna blend it on in. We're gonna let that be our transition shade today. I'm gonna take a R39 brush and then I'm gonna tap. Uh, uh, <coughs> I'm gonna tap into this matte purple shade. Guess I'm just going to. I'm like, huh? What do I want to do? Try to blend it in that outer corner. It is a pretty shade, and these shadows seem to be working pretty well. I feel like the purple shade is coming off really light and pastel-y. I'm gonna take the shimmery pink. It does feel kind of chalky, but I'm gonna pop it on the lid with my finger so we can really build up the color. Like I said, it's feeling a little bit dry. I also have this color tattoo I got for $4.64 that was originally $9.29 from Maybelline. So what I'm gonna do is like roll it out on my hand and then I'm gonna use it as a liquid liner.
I got this number seven like blue crayon pencil, which I'm gonna use in my waterline and probably smoke out on the lower lash line. I got it for $4.98 and it was originally $9.99. It is really pretty. I'm gonna take a Morphe 326 little smudger and just smudge this color across the lower lash line, my darling. I'm gonna take some of the darker blue that we used for liner and kind of smudge that as well. We bought two lippies, both from NYX. They were both around three bucks. So I'm gonna take off my lip uh, chapstick stuff. I think I'm gonna apply this matte one. It looks really pretty. It's called Duchess. Of course, you know, I gotta put on some lashes, so I'll be right back. Oh, I popped on some lashes. These lashes were not from the clearance bin, um, but we'll pretend that they were. Just kidding, we won't. As you guys know, I just always add a lash. You totally don't have to do that. You just pop on some mascara. This is the final look. I like the way the makeup came out, especially with the hand I was given of clearance makeup. Um, not all clearance makeup is bad, it's just like, I needed a lighter foundation and I needed some powder and stuff like that, but we still made it work. I think the eyeshadow turned out really cool, really pretty. I liked how we mixed purples and blues and pink. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I know me personally, I'll stop blabbering just a minute, but I know I used to, whenever I started my channel, I did have some makeup, but not a lot. And I wanted to keep introducing new makeup into my tutorials and things that I was doing. So I would always shop the clearance section and I would always dig through and find so many goodies and talk about them on my channel and be able to use them. And that really helped me. Like the clearance makeup really helped me kind of build my channel and build my career in makeup. And cause I couldn't afford to just go in and just go ham and just start buying even drugstore. I couldn't buy all that drugstore makeup. I absolutely couldn't. I was in college, I was working full time. I was living on my own. I had a car payment, you know, rent. I had to pay for everything, health insurance, like everything. Clearance makeup was a savior to me. And I know it's like so incredibly cheesy to say this video is kind of near and dear to my heart, but it kind of sort of is in that way because when I look back, you know, clearance makeup is like literally something I counted on. And there are so many times at Ulta and Target and Walmart, I would dig through the clearance section and find my pieces. So kind of near and dear to my heart. I know that's weird, but I'm just gonna spill my little story with it. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up if it made you wanna go out in that clearance section and see what they got. I love you guys, thank you so much for being here and watching. Subscribe, become a Larly today, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.